Okay, so we're ready for printing. We've got our plate. It might not be perfect, but I think at this stage we're ready to ink it up. So I've got a roller, another roller. So this is my dirty one, this is my clean one. If you're doing this with a few people, just have one dirty roller that everyone can share. We've put our ink onto just a laminate piece of board. In fact, I'm going to pour out some more. So I'm just going to put on a bit of paper. I've got some paper. I've got cartridge paper. Um, but you can play around with different papers. You can even use different coloured papers. So red and black would work really well. So I might try that afterwards. I'm going to roll out my ink. And here is the moment of truth. So get that ink nice and rolled out. There we go. See how it's picking up on the texture? And it is picking up a bit on some of my backgrounds. Those eyes are coming out nicely. Let's have a look. Obviously, it's better to take your time than take your nice clean roller and just roll across. I am pushing down pretty hard. You can use a print press, but not everyone's got a print press. So if you haven't got one, maybe you need to just give it a bit of welly. I would also be thinking about how I match this up on the paper as well, but I just want to see what this looks like just now. And we'll do a perfect one afterwards, I'll show you how to do that in a second. So this is just to see where we're up to in terms of our design. I really am rolling this hard. Because I'm replicating a print press. And there's our print, which has worked quite well. I'm not sure about that area in the eye, so I might cut into that bit of the eye there, and this eye here I might work on. So now what I'll do is annotate that and then adjust my print accordingly. Okay, so this was the print that we did initially. I've now annotated that to which bits I didn't like. So I didn't like the shape of the nose. There's too much gap around that bit of eye. This chin needs softening. I didn't like that big strong line there. So now we come back to the print plate. I've softened all that chin. I've added a bit there so that we don't have the big gap around them. I have totally changed the shape of the nose. So I've got my ink. I've got my dirty roller. I've got my clean roller. So I'm going to ink up the board. card on there so I rolling out my ink, rolling it onto the board. That texture is picking up the ink nicely, which we knew it was going. So that does need a bit more PVA on some of this. And if you want to use your board over and over again, you do need to cover it with a bit of PVA. So, get rid of that so it's not in the way. There's the board. This time, bit of a trick, because I want it to sit nicely on the paper. I can put some paper down first, place my board where I want my print to be, and then all I have to do is match up that corner of that paper with that one that I put down on the base, and you're gonna get it in a nice position. Then take my clean roller and put all that pressure on like we did last time. And I'm easing off the pressure when I get to some of these edges so it fades away a little bit. Crack 
can see that that's going to print nicely. Right, and then take that corner, peel it away. That is a much better print. Still don't know that R, you know. But the nose is much better. So you can keep going through that process until you get a print that you really love. The other trick, or the other thing you can do, is take some different coloured paper. So as we said, the red and black is going to work really well. So. And then you can start printing onto different coloured papers, so that's worked quite nicely as well. Okay, have fun.